Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. It's that time of year where a new Lionel catalog is coming out, namely the first volume of 2024. Well, I don't have that volume here, but I do have this fantastic volume one catalog from 1999. Lionel Trains, anticipating our centennial. Lionel Classic Trains, Volume 1, 1999. This is a big catalog, so I'm kind of skipping right over this stuff in the front here. We got a little memory here of Joshua Lionel Cohen. Stuff about the brand. Tips and tricks. This kind of convoluted, uh, complete, ready-to-run starter set page. I'm going to skip right over that and get to the sets themselves. Check this out. $99.95. You can get yourself a trolley, a loop of track, a transformer, and the bumpers for the end so that it will change direction. That's all you need to get going. $99.95. I love that. We've got another $99.95 set here, and this one's got a die cast logo. Sure, it doesn't look like much, but you're getting the engine, the tender, a car, and a caboose, and that's enough to get you moving. You want a little bit more, you say? Well, that's fine. Let's go to the Chessie Flyer Freight Set on the next page. This one smokes, which who doesn't like smoke from their steam engine? So you get two cars in a caboose, but you also get a slightly better transformer and a little more track. And that's $149.95. Stepping up to $170, might as well round it up. You get the New York Central Flyer Freight Set. Authentic Lionel Whistle. So you've got whistle, smoke, and light. Two cars and a caboose. But check this out. You also get a tractor trailer. And whatever this is. I can't really tell. But that looks like a pretty good deal for $170. Couple more starter sets here. Stepping up to $200, you get this Alaska engine, which has a horn, headlight, flashing light up top. You get three cars in the caboose. That's a pretty cool deal. Then we come down to the Lionel Lines freight set. You get the truck. Yeah, two cars, bunch of track, transformer, 200 bucks. Great way to get into the hobby. You want a little bit more, you say? Well, that's fine. Let's pop over here to the right, the Santa Fe Special Freight Set. You get a few more cars, get more track. You got a crossover, you get the automatic log car. That's awesome. $270, everything you need to get going and have a lot of fun. I love it. It's what they call the most complete set. And I think that's a pretty good place to start. Then we got a look to the future here, the Amtrak Talgo train set. I have no idea if I pronounced Talgo right. Never seen that before. But it's a new era and passenger rail service was recently introduced by Amtrak. We are proud to offer our version of the all-new state-of-the-art Talgo designed passenger train. No price on that because it's not released yet. Or at least if this was 1999, it wouldn't be. Now this is the part of the catalog I like already. The Lionel Postwar Celebration Series. I believe this is, yep, Volume 3 of the Lionel Postwar Celebration Series. So this is coming up after two other volumes, adding to what's already available. On the right here, we got this Texas Special A unit, which is a dual-motored magnet traction entry to go along with the AB set that was previously released. It's $350. Now, prices are going up a little bit here. And we got a Burlington GP7. That's also $350. Magnet Traction has one motor. So you're not, I feel like you're not getting as much with that one. Uh, but hey, depends what you're into. They have headlights, full bodied rail sounds with Towercom and Crew Talk. Well, that's the GP7 anyway. Magnet Traction finished cab interiors, post war celebration series builder's plaque. Oh, and they run on 027. That's pretty cool. Wow. Now, this is a page I could just frame and hang on the wall. Check that out. That is a catalog picture. I love it. They make it look like it's an old catalog laid out in front of you. That's just, this is catalog artwork right here. I love it. Yeah, the prices have jumped significantly. We're up to $1,300. The Canadian Pacific is one powered and one unpowered a unit, three Vista Dome cars. And an observation car. The Powered A unit has dual motors. Digital Trainmaster Command is included. 
Operating headlight, direction activated rear lighting, interior illumination, authentic full bodied rail sounds with tower common crew talk, magnet traction, finished cab interiors. This one needs 031. That's just a fantastic looking set. Here we have a couple of freight sets to go with engines you may already have. The New Haven freight set, it's got a 6464 boxcar, a 6511 flat car, a 6430 flat car, 3650 depressed center flat car with searchlight, and a 64273 porthole caboose. And it says, will be Lionel Lines paint scheme as was produced in 1956. So this is a real nice re-release kind of, of classic post-war awesomeness. If 350 is too much for you, how about 300 for this Seaboard freight set? You get a 6424 flat car, 6456 hopper, 6460 crane car, and 6419 work caboose. Uh, the flat car includes five pipes. They're very happy about that. There's an exclamation point. And the adjustable boom on the working crane car. And both these sets are good for 027. And the artwork is really getting me in this catalog, I have to tell you. Lackawanna Trainmaster. How much do you think it is? Take a guess. 600 bucks. Dual, durable, pull more motors. Digital Trainmaster command feature included. Traction enhancing magnet traction. Full bodied rail sounds with tower comm and crew talk. Operating headlight. Direction activated rear lighting. Works on 031. Let's pop over to the right. And we've got this fantastic executive inspection vehicle for 130. We also have a line of lines bay window caboose for $80 and an operating barrel car for $60. Okay, we're out of the post-war celebration series and into powerful Lionel locomotives. I really hadn't realized they've been making Camelbacks for as long as they have. Here we have the 460 Camelback Locos. The Jersey Central 770 Traditional is $450. The Jersey Central 771 Command Control version is $550. The Pennsylvania 820 Traditional, $449. And the Pennsylvania 821 Command Control, $550. These engines have moved away from the pull mower in favor of a maintenance-free can motor with momentum flywheel. Firebox Glow, that's always a fun little addition. Traction tires. Finished interiors. Real-life puffing smoke. Dynachuff. The command control versions have, well, command control, direction activated rear lighting, electro couplers, rail sounds with tower comm and crew talk, digital signal sounds upgradable to full rail sounds. I looked that up recently. Signal sounds, I believe, is just a whistle and a bell. But the rail sounds is, well, you know, full rail sounds. You get the running sound and everything else. The Trainmaster Command Basic Upgrade Kit is 100 bucks. SD70 Mac diesel locomotives and SD60 Mac diesel locomotives. So just like the previous page, you can get these in traditional or command control. The SD70 Max, the traditional is 400, the command control is 500. And that goes for the BNSF or the Conrail. The SD60s, the traditionals are 400 and the command controls are 500. So this is 1999 and still the prices are more than I like to pay. <laughs> Even if I went back in time, I'm still too cheap. The SD70 and the SD60s both have dual maintenance-free can motors with a momentum flywheel, traction tires, fan-driven diesel smoke unit, work on 031, the command control, the direction-activated rear lighting, the rail sounds with tower comm and crew talk. I'm kind of, kind, of, kind of getting tired of saying that. There's an upgrade available. It comes with the digital signal sounds, but you can upgrade to full rail sounds. Steam. Here we have 464 Hudsons and 462 Pacifics. We got a lot of options here for the 464. New York Central, Chesapeake and Ohio, Santa Fe, Chicago and Northwestern. For the 462, you can get New York Central, New Haven, Santa Fe, or Southern. The 464s in traditional are $400. And in command are 500. The 462s, traditional, are 400. And the commands are 500. Maintenance free motors, operating headlight and firebox glow, traction tires, real life puffing smoke unit, 031 track. I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I mean, I love the color of the Southern. 
I might want the Southern Pacific to head up my Southern Crescent Limited from the MPC era. The Corvette and Trainwreck Recovery Train Sets. Corvette logo on deck of flat cars. That's pretty cool. Engine, two flat cars, caboose, four Corvettes to carry. Runs on 031. Will cost you 500 bucks. I wonder if, did this become collectible? I'd kind of like to know. I don't recall ever seeing this set. Certainly don't recall seeing that engine. Uh, so did this not sell well? Were there not a lot made? Is this collectible today or worth just about what it was when it came out? Be interesting to look into. I also don't know that I've seen these uh, recovery set items. If you're interested in the recovery set, that would cost $270. It works on 027. Bethlehem Steel Service Station Set. That would set you back $350. You get the engine, the 6462 coal hopper, depressed center flat car, ore car, and the work caboose. Oh, that's a dual motored unit. That's fantastic. I say $350 is not a bad deal for this set. On to the next page. It's a big catalog. We've got to keep moving. The I Love Boxcar Series. Hey, where's the New Jersey car, eh? Anyway, we got what here? We got. I love Maine, I love Rhode Island, I love New Hampshire, and I love Vermont cars, $45 each. Oh, we got Thomas. We got Troublesome Truck 1 and Troublesome... I can't say that, apparently. We got Troublesome Truck 1 and Troublesome Truck 2, $45 each. I still feel like I need a Thomas set, and I don't have one. Lionel Ostrich Transport. <laughs> okay, that's funny, I like that. Area 51 car, and then we got a VAT car here. The animated ostrich box car and glow in the dark alien box car. Each would set you back 50 bucks, as would the VAT car. And that's a Mama's Baked Beans VAT car. Can we have some more beans? I think you've had enough. Anyway, let's move on. It's the Mothers Against Drunk Driving box car, and that'll set you back 45 bucks. The nice thing about the Mad Box car is 10% of sales will be contributed to the Mad program. That's fantastic. Post-merger boxcar two-pack. We got a Lehigh Valley and a Jersey Central, both double stamped with Conrail. That two-car set would set you back 100 bucks. They'll light up your layout. New York City lights and constellation boxcars. Each of these cars is $60. And the lights will blink when power is applied to the track. Tank cars, hoppers, and auto carriers. Oh, my. The auto carrier is set you back 60 bucks. The B&O Diecast Hopper 2-Pack, $250. Oh boy, that's a lot. I don't know that I've seen Diecast tank cars. I'm sure, you know, maybe I've breezed by them, but I never looked at them and thought that they were Diecast. I certainly wouldn't think it would be 250 bucks for two uh, tank cars, but hey, what do I know? The Boy Scout box car. And a Pensy flat car with gondola. That's kind of a cool, unique car there. The Boy Scout box car is 45 bucks. The flat car is 35 Hey, I've got this one. And I certainly did not pay 60 bucks for it. <laughs> kind of want to find that one now to go with it. The Route 66 flat cars includes two resin Route 66 vehicles each. They run a No. 27. The cream and red luxury coupes. $60. With black touring coupes, $60. I paid 10 bucks for mine, and I like it. I kind of wish they weren't resin, but, uh, you know, die-cast cars, but for 10 bucks, I can't complain. On the right, we've got the Union Pacific Car Sound Stock Car. Ooh, includes cattle sounds. That makes me wonder when they first had a mooing car. I think a whole trainload of those stock cars mooing would be hilarious. Full-bodied car sounds with special cow sounds. The closest thing I had to that as a kid was that little milk carton that you would turn upside down and it would sound like a cow mooing. You turn it back, you turn it over. I'm sure I drove my parents nuts with that one. I missed this one. That is the Wellspring Capital Management car. And that's $55. We got the New York City Aluminum Pasture 2-Pack. And that'll set you back $250. We got a combo and a sleeper car. Perfect add-on to assortment 619171. They are 16-inch cars. Yep, kind of want those. I'm going to have to look for those. 
for the kid in all of us. This whole catalog is for the kid in all of us. But anyway, Woody Woodpecker box car, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Curious George. Those cars are $60 each. I would challenge you to find them for $10 today if you could. I would probably pick one up if I found it for $10. Bucks. I don't know that you will, but hey, it's a challenge. Ooh, we got some glow-in-the-dark canisters over here. Uranium flat car and lava light tank car. Lava light tank car? Oh, that sounds cool. The uranium flat car is 60 bucks, and the lava light tank car is 70 I have definitely never seen the lava light tank car. That is pretty cool. Anybody have that one? I'd love to hear about it. Alien transport aquarium car. <laughs> really? <laughs> the aliens are in the aquarium. That's kind of a stretch there, but hey. Whatever makes you happy. Alien bodies float through windows when the car moves. That's kind of morbid. Oh, man. I love it. Lionel Standard O Rolling Stock. New tooling. Modern boxcar. We have a Union Pacific modern boxcar. A CSX modern. Norfolk and Southern. BNSF. And a Chevy double door boxcar. The Chevy double door will cost you 65 and the others are 60 I think that's a nice collection of more scale size standard O cars. Uh-oh. Looks like we're finished with trains and onto track. Lionel track. Expand your world! Figure 8 add-on pack for 027 is $13. That's one crossover and four curve track. The double loop add-on for 027 is $50. Double loop complete track pack for 027 is $70. The deluxe complete track pack O-gauge $100. This whole layout here, I, I kind of think somebody probably got fired for this. This is, I'm no graphic designer, but my eyes can't even take that in. <laughs> so we're just going to skip over it. Ooh, accessories. Lionel accessories. Build your own world of sights and sounds. Static accessories. Illuminated accessories. Operating accessories. Oh my gosh. Animated Maiden Rescue. In the spirit of our most successful operating accessories, we're proud to introduce this animated Maiden Rescue. A fair maiden is tied to the tracks, and the train is coming. When it nears, the uniformed officer comes to the rescue and saves the day. Wow. Maybe it's 2024 talking, but that seems a little messed up. Anybody have this? Uh, I'd love to see this in action. I've definitely never seen one. Route 66 Automobile 4-Pack. 48 Station Sedan. 54 Touring Sedan. 58 sports sedan and a 59 luxury coupe. 40 bucks for those. 10 bucks each? That's not bad. But these are molded resin cast automobiles, not die cast. Animated pylon with airplane. Those are always cool. $100. Automatic gate man. There's a classic for you. 60 bucks. Mainline die cast accessories in the finest tradition. Each piece is logo marked. Mainline automatic crossing gate and signal, $65. Mainline automatic operating semaphore, $50. Mainline block target signal, $50. And the mainline cantilever signal bridge, $60. And a bunch of other neat accessories here. The billboard's always one of my favorites, $25 for that set of three. The mainline gooseneck lamps, now in true O scale, set of two for $40. Crossing gates, signals, and bridges. A banjo signal, $45. I think I have a post-war version of that. Railroad crossing flasher, $60. And a crossing gate, $35. The automatic crossing gate end signal is $50. And the dwarf signal is $20. We've got some nice bridges here. Uh, the arch under bridge, $20. I think they cost more than that these days. That might be the one I have. Except mine was damaged and I got it for maybe $10. I don't know. The girder bridge, you can get plastic or die cast? Really? I don't know that I've ever seen a die cast girder bridge. The plastic was 10 bucks. The die cast was 35. Ah, uh, the rotary aircraft beacon. What a classic. $50. The floodlight tower, 35. And the yard lights, set of three is 15 bucks. A whole bunch of other little accessories over here. Real wood barrels for $5. Coal bag, 4 bucks. Bumpers, set of three for 5 The railroad sign pack, 
set of 14 for six dollars so you know a lot of these prices really aren't bad check out this rico station very cool that's 40 bucks Got a municipal building 50 dollars a lighted freight station fully assembled 50 dollars and the passenger freight station building kit $25. We got station platforms, we got lumber shed, barrel loader. That's pretty cool stuff. Here we have the updated ZW for 400 bucks. Power station powerhouse set for 200. Big red control button. Used with your cab one to duplicate all major cab one button commands. Great for kids of all ages, the physically challenged and many push button display applications. The big red control button is $90. Ah, uh, look at this. Something I'm new to. Train Master Command. The cab one is 65. The command base is 65. The SC2 switch controller is 80. Lubrication maintenance kit for 15 and smoke fluid for 6. And almost as an afterthought, here's some large scale with the Gold Rush set. First introduced in 1987, the Lionel Large Scale Gold Rush train set was extremely popular. Now, after a brief trip to the back shop for maintenance, we are proud to reintroduce our Large Scale Gold Rush set. Big, rugged, and lots of fun, this classically decorated train will look great on your G scale layout or running through your garden. Or under the Christmas tree, I would say. It's $300. That's pretty cool. Big, rugged trains, 1 120 scale, die cast locomotives. Oh, those are tiny. That's not big and rugged. That's tiny. These make me think of the Hallmark ornaments. And I do have to say I have a whole lot of them. And that's the Volume 1 catalog from 1999. It's got some good stuff in there. Some stuff's a little expensive, but most seemed rather affordable. But then if you asked me in 1999 if it was affordable, I probably would have told you no. Let's see, where was I in 99? I was in college, and... Ah, working with N-Scale, probably because I found a catalog like this, looked at it and said, I can't afford that. I'm a student. But you know what? It's a cool catalog. I'm glad I have this one. And that was a pretty cool trip down memory lane. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.